Thanks for staying up with us tonight, everyone. I'm AJ Hilton. We'll have to wait a few more days before finding out if two Detroit men will face a jury in the death of an MSU student this past March. Hannah Saunders was in court for their preliminary exam Friday, and as she reports, the woman who died may not be the only victim in this case. Shaking and frequently looking back at friends and family, 18-year-old Marquez Cannon and 19-year-old Deshaun Ambrose listened to the testimonies on the death of an 18-year-old MSU student. She was cold to the touch as I touched her. Um, her legs were very stiff as I performed CPR. But it was the testimony of the victim's roommate which gave the only full account of what happened on the night of St. Patrick's Day into the following morning when she was found dead and possibly raped by Cannon. Because this woman was describing how she was also allegedly raped by Cannon on the same night, I wasn't allowed to bring the camera into the courtroom to record her testimony. She says it began when Cannon and Ambrose brought liquor into their South Hubbard dorm for a drinking contest. She says the four of them drank two bottles combined. She admits her memory is hazy because she was so intoxicated, but says she'll never forget coming out of the bathroom to see her roommate lying on the floor with no pants on and Cannon standing over her. And she said when she questioned Cannon, he raped her. She told the court the two men left around midnight, and when she woke up in the morning, her roommate wasn't breathing. Further into the room, I also observed blood on the floor uh, between her knees. The medical examiner is expected to testify in the coming days on where that blood came from and the exact cause of death. In East Lansing, Hannah Saunders, Fox 47 News. The preliminary exam is expected to continue Tuesday, and we're told it could go another two days. We'll be sure to update you with the latest as this hearing continues.